Let's add a save button and a delete button to this form. So first of all, I go into design mode, either through the file edit, the file views, uh, sorry, in the home ribbon, the views area or on the tab menu. In design mode, you see controls appear in the home ribbon under the form design tools. When you click the dockable button, you see that my use control wizard button is highlighted, which is good. Now, this is a button and these are some of the controls we have. So I'm going to click the button control. And because the wizard is on, once I draw a box, the wizard will appear. So the wizard is asking me what type of operation I want to perform. So what I want to do is a record operation. And which operation do you want this button to achieve? And I see that I wanted to save a record. Click on the next button. So there are other things you can do. And do you want a text on the button? Or do you want a picture? And I actually want a picture. But this picture is not enough for me. Just these two. So I'm going to say show all pictures. Then I'm going to browse for a picture that represents what I want to do. And this is good for me. A save button picture. You can also browse and go and pick your own picture if you want. And... Is asking you to give it a meaningful name. So I'm going to call it Save Record. Just click on Finish. And there we have a Save button. So I can resize it. Let me save the form and go into Form View. And there we have a Save button. So if I were to... Um, let's add a new person in. Let's add somebody called Evans... Uh, a champion date of birth let's give a random date here let's give a random date he's in the central province hometown is Accra and cause he's um, he's doing a BSc in dramatic engineering or dramatics and then you see we still have a our edit button once I click the save button this record has been saved so the save button has worked now let's create a delete button so we don't have to click on the record selector and delete so let's go back to design view the wizard is still on we draw a box record operations <coughs> but this time we want to create a delete record button next for this one, you can, normally people use trash cans. You know, there are several types of trash cans here. But I would want to use a text that says delete record, rather. A meaningful name, delete record. I like using camel case with no um, spaces. So here we have a delete record. And I'm actually going to go to format to change the color, the boldness, and italics of the delete record button. And I'm going to enter into the button and put an asterisk key here to make sure the user sees that this is a danger mark that you're deleting a record. I save my form and now I have um, save button and delete button. Let's delete Doris. Delete. You're about to delete one record. We say yes. So now we've deleted um, Doris. So we'll have one more record left. Of Mary and Evans. Uh, sorry, two more records, Mary and Evans. Okay. 